lot of frontier sector stuff that I should probably... So, you don't need a general. What you need to become is a sector. And not just any sector. You need to become the best sector we could possibly make you. Day and night, day and night. Scrolling up through all these governors. You need a governorship, because if you don't have a governorship, you'll Our hell. construction is complete. Of course you will. In fact, I'm going to make sure you have the crime protection governor. Because, oh my gosh, you are terrible. The Carl will also become its own governorship. And I'll make sure that you also have protection from crimes most afoul. And we now only have our attempts at a new ring world to speak of for our next batch of colonization. You're here. Good. Your next objective. Whether or not It's always Arrested Development. Can they do something else? Can they do something that allows us to get rid of Arrested Development? Anything at all. Please. I'm so tired of Arrested Development. Wah. Wah. Why are you here again? Hold up. You're building a gateway in here. I was ordering gateways. You're building one here. Why, well, Luigi time. Uh, you don't have a spot to build a gateway. I mean, I guess I could just order a gateway construction at this spot instead. It's strategically helpful to me. Our construction is complete. Tebrids will soon fall as our fleets are still going into place. We've got one more year before they all are they all have arrived. In that meantime, we'll also continue to collapse our armies on top of each other. You are still going. It might take five years and a lot of recalculations, but they will make it. else is going on here? Anything I should all care about? Nah, not really. Everything is mostly built up. As far as I'm concerned. Oh, I remember now. You were building a gateway here, so there was a gateway being built. I actually just built it in the right spot. In this area, we can go everywhere else. So glad I don't have to cut sneezes out. And we continue to buy up our moats, continue to buy up our gases, continue to buy up our rare crystals. All for the day that we can finally, finally go back to war. Is everyone ready? can't tell. I have to scroll through way too many star bases. No, we are actually still waiting for the Ceaseless Swarm. They'll be arriving at far point in 84 days. When that day hits in 
2508. We can declare our war and finally put an end to this madness. We are probably going to have to spread out a little bit, but after the initial blast, basically, us clearing out their biggest fleets, they shouldn't really have anything else to stop us. Ah, oh, sweet. Here, where are you? Upgrade, please. You. I don't think I have any reason to do anything else. Most of my umpire is gated up properly. So, as it currently stands, good sir builder, you can just... I don't know where... You don't have a home base. So you can just hang around near station and we can decide to rebuild something else later. Oh yeah, I forgot the raiding fleet was still there. Are you guys fighting? Tell me you are. No, you're not. Hi. Their... Their war fleets still concern me. This one... The fleet that is on the gate itself... Is the scariest. Not because it is on the gate itself. But it is also supported by... One of the biggest star bases that are that they have. He says it looks at it as a 5k. Wait, what? You're leaving? Hold up. Do they actually realize what's going on? They realize that I'm just gonna nuke this starbase instantly. Are they actually trying to build a big enough fleet to hold me off? Because if they are, they're gonna be in for a real shock of their lifetime. We will blot out the sun. Quite literally, they're actually forming a lattice line to block out the sun. We really should fix that problem. Our construction is complete. He's almost there. It's a few mere days. We don't need the transport fleet to catch up. Because these two fleets, their literal goal is just a back cap. That's it. The main fleets serve kind of as a distraction, but really, this is a case of divide and conquer where we conquer most of the homologs and then just hope that this drains them of their resources so quickly that they can't sustain themselves. I mean, I guess in the meantime, if I wanted to, I could just build another fleet. There's nothing here that says I can't. Why not even have any torpedoes in this? This might just be a pure battleship setup. And then reinforce all, because we can we can afford it. Let's get our missiles to be upgraded. There's no other boosts or bolstering we can do. At least any boosts or bolstering that's fast. This place is so weird when it comes to food. The main meal plan is stupendously expensive. But at the same time, I'm so unwilling to cook. Maybe that's what they were just gambling on. Do not try to connect to the Wi-Fi. The Wi-Fi is not good for this.
a new nest is born. All right, the fleets are here. It's time. I don't want to delay any longer. You have had a long time coming. It's you and your little vassal state. You demand assimilation, and you will be assimilated into our stomachs. Check one last time that there's no hidden thing. There's... Right, I forgot about the natural wormhole. That's what I was originally planning on dealing with. Uh, I don't think they'll abuse it. Mostly because I don't think they actually have anything that can abuse it. It's A, this natural wormhole, I think is actually guarded. It's guarded by an anchorage. Ah, it's a citadel. It can hold it. Or it can hold it off. This group will be too busy dealing with me assaulting it from every other possible angle. Hunger. Declare war. Go. We will annihilate the others. And the Empire awakens, realizing, oh crap, here comes the fight. You only delay the inevitable multics. Even as you speak, the heart of the Multic Swarm is being subsumed. That's adorable. You attempt to assimilate, we attempt to assimilate, we all work together. Their individual fleets will not be strong enough to get through there, because as a Citadel, it's like 25k, I think. So their individual 400 power fleets will not break through. Yeah, it's like 23. They won't break through. If they do break through, we have the Zentaris behind it. And that should be more than enough time for us to get one of our fleets to the main area. So, as was originally planned, we have the four main swarms. Your objective, not even should you choose to accept it, just freaking go. We have a route. It has a gateway, sir. Sir. Gateway. There is a route. Do you comprehend? All right. Well, the game is screwing us over right now because one of my main plans has currently just backfired. That's fine. Into combat swarms. What? Oh, right, right. They have to go through like a thousand stations. All right, that's fine. Begin the death march. The only one we don't want... No, I don't want to click on the dreadnought. I want basically anyone else. Stalking, go straight here. Pestilent. Go here. Devastating. Your objective is also to go to Iliax. You will follow in the devastating swarm. Right here. Maybe they'll unstack a little bit. That's Pestilent, that's fine. They're all going to about the same place. Can't I use the gateway? Why are you saying no route? The gateways aren't shut off. Or is it just never activated? No, it was activated. Gateways are protected. Why can't you? Alright, well... In this case, teaming, you'll have the objective instead. You can easily run back and defend this. Go to Sijui. It's 72 days. You'll be fine. The rest of you are gonna go back up north. Ravaging. All of you can just make your way... To be Stramar. And then from there, we'll figure out where you guys are gonna go. And if they can suddenly use their gateway to assault me, I'm gonna call BS, because they shouldn't be able to touch that gateway. If I can't use their gateway, Our like it says I should be able to use it, they shouldn't be able to use mine that way. 
I don't want to be a missile sc I don't want the transport fleet to be a missile screen. So, you are going to follow in the fleet. You aren't going to do the assault. Got that? Good. The first slugs are going out. It seems like they're ready to try and take us. So, Rushing Swarm is going to rush on down here, claim this, and get to this choke point here. Combat Swarm is going to head north, and then it'll head up to Tvarti and take that over. Pestilence somehow got the transport fleet, and that's the problem. Uh, devastating... And stalking, we'll both head on over to Obsyke. And we'll try to crush the majority of their fleet here. Oh god. No, I don't think we will. I think we're gonna instead stay. We'll instead turn around, sit here, and dare them to come to us. Really, we actually caught their transport fleet. Neat. work on taking over everything else. How are you guys doing? You already conquered this. Good enough for me. Uh, go to Jundia, or go to Jundus. Please. Oh no, game. Don't crash on me yet. There's a lot of things going on. You know that. You can trust me. You'll be fine. Uh, your objective. Not even should you choose to accept it. Just go. Make a move. You guys are actually coming in. Sweet, you're coming in like one at a time. That was the hope that you guys are coming in at a one at a time. And you're gonna get blown up. Sweet. Our construction All right, is the majority of their fleets here, but they don't have the defensive warp off because this isn't their territory. It's ours now. They keep stacking up. They are a quarter of my fleet, but they could be, like, specially designed to take us on, so we're just trying to hit them with every single possible weapon type that we have. We are going to take some casualties, but that's fine. I've got resources to spare and an entire manufacturing base behind us. In the meantime, Pestilence Swarm... So, you, the transport fleet will actually turn around. Pestilence Swarm will actually head on down south to cut them off here. Like I thought, I think they're actually moving people here to go on to Marflock. Try to assault me. Um, want to go down this path. It's not really going to work. So, we're going to send Combat Swarm 07 up here to take out Duel, Duel Tuari. Don't ask me how those pronunciations work. I don't know. Wow, we might actually lose the one of the... No, not the... We, sh we shouldn't lose the Dreadnought? We'll lose several other ships, but that's fine. We'll just go to Fleet Manager and start ordering their reinforcements. Conquered Jundius. Jesus Christ. I think it's just trying to handle the combat and it's not working. Hello. You're trying to defend your ally. How admirable. And foolish.
We had a lot of people level up. Oh, right, I also have an Arrested Development Governor. Hold on. Let me fix that real quick. Who got Arrested Development? Who's getting shot out into space? A rank 5 governor. Long Sector. Is this really important, Brain Boy? Not really, but you know what? For giggles, it's good enough. Also, put the star bases away. You can keep the shipyards open. Where is Hugh Long? Getting a new governor. Ladies and gentlemen, no crime. Ever. Boom. Join us. And with that new governor, this leader is now fired because he is arrested development. And nobody likes arrested development. Alright, uh, we don't need this space station anymore, so we're gonna downgrade it, because I don't want to go over Starbase Cap hilariously. We don't need this anymore, so we'll downgrade it. Don't need to go over Starbase Cap. Uh, you're fine. See, I want to take these guys out. How are your armies looking? You got a really weak garrison. The moment we crack this station, we're good. So, this transport fleet, you're going to follow in behind these goons, and your objective will be to crack this station open. I'm fine with them, because they're probably going to get hung up attacking this, and the moment we take the station, we'll just turn around and kill them, and that'll be fine by me. Alright, let's go. Seems like a plan. Anyway, after all of that, they're sending in more. Alright, you know what? Fine, we can meet Grinder them. I am totally okay with this. I don't see any other red ships anywhere in my territory, so it seems like they haven't trolled me. Well, here's now the real backup plan. Backup backup plan. With backup backup plan, I mean, the teaming swarm is going to go in from the back and start taking stuff over. so we don't have to conquer this place later. And from Fleet Manager, we can hit the reinforce all again because we need to keep sending in more ships. They were trying to sneak in a boatload of transport fleets. I don't know what they were expecting. How are the Edicts looking? We still have every good combat one active, right? We do. Order restore. Our hive is under attack. Our hive. Hold it. What hive? Which hive? That's one of our fleets. And that is. Where is this? Oh, it's down here. Okay, yeah, no, that's fine, because we have three mega fleets going in. Even if they take it, we'll just take it back. And with this, whatever superiority they've tried to claim is slowly drifting away to the shadows. If they could actually land a science vessel inside this sector, they could get all the technology we have, all the Fallen Empire tech, all the unique technology. Our is complete. And that could be the end of me. We're not going to stop. We're not going to slow down. Why would I ever let them get that close? You know, with this conquest, head up here, conquer all of this territory, then turn around, conquer up to here, and that's your new choke point. This space station is useless because we already defend the other side, and this side doesn't matter to me. And so we're good. The Empires, they are meeting! 
I ordered you to go down south. Are you are you jumping? You are jumping. Good. That's not the full transport. You conquered this. Well, we all know what this means. Transport fleet 106. Land your armies. Beat them into a bloody pulp. And then both of you can turn around, make your way to Iliaramar, and cut them off here. Hey, if they're going to keep throwing away their fleets to the Pestilent Swarm, I will gladly let them keep throwing away their fleets to the Pestilent Swarm. No skin off my teeth. You. They tried to get a habitat rolling, but it didn't work. Where's our transport fleet? It's right here. Can you just... Can you just conquer it? Considering nothing else here matters. And 07 can move down and get to the black hole, conquering this. It's like they're trying to attack, but then they just run away immediately and lose the energy. The station is gone. Have we? Wow. They are already at 100% acceptance. How did we beat them so... Okay, it's all three space battles. They just lost their entire war fleet. Like, whatever armada, whatever army they had before, gone. If I take a look at the... Victory, if I take a look at the victory conditions. We have actually kicked them down a peg from the amount of ships that we've destroyed, from the stuff we've stolen from them, from the Federation we're going to destroy. Yeah, so that's our invasion. They're not pushing in anywhere important. I thought that'd be the end of the Samuro States. Do we have anything else here that we missed? No, we're we are sorry. We have successfully landed. We are not invading yet. I need to get some jobs here, real quick. Enemy nest taken. There we go. New gateway is ready. Thank goodness for our lord and savior, the gateways. Remember when I thought this fight would actually be difficult? I forgot our how... Our construction is complete. Okay, I didn't forget how massively overpowered I am. This is why I decided to attack them before they got any stronger. Anyway, what system was it? It was this one. Well, you'll be activated. Congratulations. Was it worth it? Yes, it most certainly was. Alright, well, since we now have effectively have surrounded them and we're going through, we don't need to hold onto the station anymore. We have successfully conquered this system, so we don't actually need it. This world, on the other hand, is actually a recent colony. Now that is surprising. I wouldn't have ever expected them to do a recent colony this late. Admittedly, they're like one of the only species that have been doing remotely well. And I have to give them credit for that. But you'll start your terraforming in the hive world immediately. Uh, is there another planet nearby? The answer is yes. And you'll actually jump over to Obrium so we can actually conquer this system. While we work out our differences here. Thundering will actually just make its way straight here. Ravaging will go to Obrium. And Rakarus will go to Obrium. Basically all ineffectual because they're being stopped by FTL inhibitors. Ever once the FTL inhibitor here is down, we can continue to push in from here. You're doing just fine. You guys can just sit here. You did a fantastic job wiping out their entire battle fleet. Aside from these small groups in Nishpan. And you're a full planet. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Any other transport fleets? No. Let's go wipe them out. 
What? There's nothing here stopping me. Go land your armies. Uh, I should actually check. Do they look like they have decent armies? Pfft, no. Oh god, no. They have nothing. Sweet. You. You are in the midst of near open rebellion. Because of mistreatment and oh god, they're going to eat us like they did all those years ago. And my answer to that is yes. And courtesy of having a gateway right next to their empire, we're getting a steady stream of reinforcements just to take them down. All I can say is excellent. Most excellent.